State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. Bob Myers, the architect of the Warriors dynasty roster, is stepping down as the friend. So the question is, how can the Warriors save their season? Well, they can. Clay Thompson, he came off the bench for the first time since March 11th, 2012. thrilled for this 10-year rebuild with the Golden State Warriors because I feel like this is going to be the hardest one that we have done yet over the last couple of weeks. We've done the Spurs, we've done the Wizards, the Pistons, the Hornets, an expansion team, but yeah, I think this is going to be the toughest one. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? 10-year Warriors rebuild is obviously going to be tough because of how old this core currently is. Steph, 35, Draymond, 34, Chris Paul is 38 years old, Klay Thompson, pending free agent this year, 34. We're going to have to make some tough decisions decisions. Andrew Wiggins has regressed this year and he's still just 29. And if you guys do enjoy these 10 year rebuilds, I'd appreciate you dropping a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 2000 likes on this video. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate you hitting that button as well. So the Warriors have obviously been pretty inconsistent in the 2024 season. They got off to a rough stretch. They've had their moments, but it seems like they've never had a consistent, like super long stretch where they could be a top team in the Western Conference. Like currently the moment I'm recording this, they are the 10th seed right now. Yes, they're above 500, but are they really beating any one of these top four teams in the Western Conference? No. And with the core being so old, we're going to have to make some really tough decisions. Now, I know that Chris Paul's contract is not like fully guaranteed next year. So um, is it, what does 2K have it as? Okay, they have it as fully guaranteed. I may like trade it as well, um, even if it's a little bit unrealistic to move it just because we can get off of it easy, but 2K is not allowing me to do that. I mean, I could just lower the salary as well and then just cut him. So we'll, we'll see if we even want to do that with CP3. Curry's under contract for the next couple of years. Steve Kerr just signed an extension. I think I'm going to let Clay walk unless unless there's a contract that I'm okay with, but I feel like I can't bring him back. If I can find any trade for Wiggins, I'm going to do it. Um, and we're going to hopefully just keep building around Kuminga and Pojemski as well as part of the younger core. And oh yeah, this team does not own their first round pick in the 2024 draft. It's going to Portland. So Luka Doncic wins MVP this season. I know that's going to be controversial if he is not like a top seed in the West and it's looking like they won't be. Wemby's rookie of the year, bogey six man, Depoy goes to Wemby, most improved Jalen Johnson, clutch player of the year, Devin Booker. Do we get Steph on an all-NBA team? we do not all right i wonder who the next all nba guy will be if it's not going to be steph anymore in this video we'll see uh so pojemski is on all rookie second team i'm excited to see his development as well kind of as a glue guy for us so we ended up as the ninth seed the lakers is the 10th seed all right we went 44 38 we had a good end to the season let's see if we can beat the lakers here I mean, we also have Trey Jackson Davis, who I liked a ton coming out of Indiana. Like, I don't even know if Moses Moody's going to crack the playoff rotation. And by playoff rotation, I mean play-in rotation. So let's just see here what happens against the Lakers. Are we going to get eliminated? I would be like, you know what? If I had my first round pick, I'd be fine with it, but we do not. Now, I will definitely try to trade for a first rounder. Don't worry. Like, I think I'm done with Moses Moody. We'll see, though. All right, we're down by seven. Are we really going to lose to them? All right, well, we ended up losing by seven points, and the Warriors season has probably gone the worst possible way it could have, and we ended up losing. Draymond, though, the last game that rival GMs will have in their mind of Draymond is an 18-10-9 performance. I may, I don't know, man. He's so good, and hes I think he's still underrated on the defensive side of the floor for what he does as the like quarterback, or you could say the linebacker, and he can point out whatever uh, is going wrong with the defense. He's great playing with the young guys because they have somebody that they can rely on and trust and learn from, and he's a true weeder on that side of the floor. But regression's going to hit, and if there's a time to move him, it may be now. But then can I really sell this to Steph Curry? Like, we're going to trade away Draymond. We're going to let Clay walk. Are you okay with that? You have the Mavericks as the sixth seed and the Bucks as the three seed in the finals. Luka versus Giannis, and Giannis gets his second ring. Kyle Lowry ends up getting his jersey retired by the Raptors. Obviously, throughout this, we will add expansion teams as well, just because um, you guys know um, that there's so many good players by year, like, five and six, and then a lot of good players go unsigned because teams don't have all this cap space to use. So, yeah. We're not going to get our first round pick. It's going to go to the Portland Trailblazers at 13. That does hurt. We don't have any first in general. So Steve Kerr uh, did sign that extension. He'll be back. Uh, Kenny Atkinson as an assistant. I don't know if I'm going to touch anything right there. I don't know how long uh, Steve Kerr will be on this team. I always try to get Joe Prunty, but I feel like he never wants to sign with me. All right. Just kidding. He does. All right. So it is the night of the NBA draft here in 2024. Are we going to lose out on a really good player? Like Tyler Smith, I would love on this team. But I don't know about his fit with Kuminga, honestly. T. John Salon would be fun. I think, like, the Knicks have two first-round picks, 17 and 21. Maybe we could snag one of those. 
Would the Wizards be interested in moving 23? Okay, first things first, we weren't going to guarantee Chris Paul's contract. He's going to be a free agent. All right, so we're going to make this trade with the Wizards. We're going to send them Moses Moody. We're going to send them Andrew Wiggins, um, who they could take a chance on and actually give some run time to. Uh, I'm going to move them um, or give them Santos as well. And we're going to get picked 23 in Marvin Bagley, who can provide us some big man depth because I have no idea if Kevon Looney is going to be back on this team either. Like, I could look to move Looney. I mean, they maybe would want Looney in this deal. But I think I'm going to see if they would do this. I don't need Marvin Bagley back. Like, I would just move all this for just pick 23. Um, but they are willing to give me Bagley, which is nice. So we trade away Andrew Wiggins, who was such a vital part of the 2022 championship team. We have a plethora of big man right now. I think Draymond's going to be uh, a power forward next year. Uh, his overall doesn't change. But yeah, I think, like, the power forwards are fine. I don't mind bringing back Saric. Centers are okay with these three. Like, it could be a revolving door. We would like to add another wing, especially with Clay being a free agent. Um, and I'm... We're not going to really have camp space, but I may have a mid-level exception to use. Cody Williams goes number one to Memphis. Number two is Alexandra Saar to the Washington Wizards. Ron Holland, three to the Raptors. So that even makes more sense for Washington. They were taking Alex Saar. They didn't need Marvin Bagley. The Hornets are trading the pick. Nope, they take Kevin McCullough out of Kansas. Well, that is definitely front runner for the worst pick in the draft so far. All right, I love with who I'm about to take with this pick. Devin Carter from Providence. This dude is maybe the Pochemski of this year. He's an absolute elite rebounder. He's a good defender, and he's a knockdown shooter as well. With Clay being a free agent, he could be behind Pochemski um, in that backup shooting guard spot. I could also play Kuminga at the three and have Draymond be the four. Like, I'm not opposed to that. I have no idea how he went this late because I think he's going to be a fringe first rounder, early second rounder. But Trey Alexander at Creighton, I got with my second round pick. All right, so we get Carter. We get Alexander, two guys from the Big East. Um, Gary Payton opts in. That's fine. That's fine. I don't really think I was going to have much cap anyway. Uh, LeBron and Paul George opt out. Uh, Usman Garuba, yeah, I'm not extending the qualifying offer to any of those players. So let's go here to free agency. Clay, I, it says he wants the, I don't know. I think we're just going to move on from Clay though. Now, we actually have a decent amount of money. Wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. I lied. I was like, wait, I could sign Nick Claxton, but that wasn't under the affordable section. So if I'm looking for a wing specifically, uh, Grace and Allen, Isaac Okoro would be nice, but he wants a little bit too much. I'm also using new settings as well here where I'm going to go with 75 trade negotiation difficulty and 90 uh, CPU resigned. Well, I actually usually have this on like 90. I may even up it to 95. And then also some of you guys are saying to up the regression rate as well. So I did that and I lowered progression rate to 45. All right, just because I think, wow, I actually have around like $12 million. Hmm. <laughs> now, I think I'm just going to sign Grayson Allen. Two-year deal, $14 million. He's going to come off the bench because I'm going to start coming at the three. Clay Thompson's career in Golden State is over. It is the end of an era. And hopefully this team, I don't know, man. Draymond's going to regress. Like, he could be a prime trade deadline candidate as well if we are struggling. They'll allow me to re-sign Chris Paul. Okay. I'm also going to sign, I think, Lonnie Walker to a two-year deal worth around $7 million, $6.5 million, um, and I think we'll be able to do that, and it's fully guaranteed for the second year. So, this is the team, Curry, Draymond, Kuminga, who I really need to break out, Looney, Bagley, uh, Chase Jackson Davis, like, I think we could be very active at the deadline if we are struggling, or even if we want to be, like, a buy-in team, like, and be a buyer, like, Looney could get moved, Bagley could get moved, Draymond could get moved, Grayson Allen, um, Lonnie Walker could get moved, Devin Carter might spend time in the G League, but I do have him, like, part of our future plans so player progression curry regresses same with draymond coming it doesn't progress all right well that sucks and i think there's two ways to look at this 10-year rebuild too i think like we have the first era which is the final part of steph curry's career might be three more years might just be two more years i'd like to win one more ring i don't want to enter a complete rebuild i would like to give curry another ring so we can get his fifth all time like that would be really cool i'm gonna move coming into the small forward position where now he goes up to an 85 that is great and then I'm also going to start off the year sending Trey Alexander to the Santa Cruz Warriors. Chris Paul went on side, but I can't afford him. I'm going to sign Jay Sean Tate to a one-year deal. So I can also send Devin Carter to the G League as well. So the rotation is going to be Curry, Pozemski, Kuminga, Green, and Looney. Even though I don't even love Looney that much. And this is what the starting five is going to look like. Curry, Pozemski, Kuminga, Green, and Looney. This is a big year for Kuminga. We need him to be a number two to Curry's number one. We have Grayson Allen, Trey Jackson Davis, Marvin Bagley, Lonnie Walker off the bench. Like Sam Hauser, who we had to pick up, Gary Payton, Jordan McLaughlin, and Jay Shante will not be playing. Since the proficiency under Steve Kerr, perimeter centric is three and a half stars. I don't know if there's any contract extensions we could work out right now. We could sign Steph. I'm not going to do that. Who knows? He may retire. Kavon Mooney. I mean, for four million, we could do that. Bagley, we can resign Gary Payton. We'll see how these guys perform this season. First game of the season is on the road against the Jazz, and we blow them out by 32 points. Curry with 34, Draymond with 22, seven and six. 
Okay, Kaminga had 15. Grayson out at 12 and 7. Love that. Uh, home game here against the Kings, and we win. All right, so we get off to a good start this season. Lonnie Walker shot 2 for 11. And can we start off the year 0 and 3? Grayson Allen's former team. No, we lost by 5. Booker had a good game. KD had a good game. Kaminga had 34. All right, this is giving me a little bit of confidence and optimism to start off the year. All right, so we are here at the trade deadline, and honestly, 29 and 23, I'll kind of take. We're the 60 right now. I just want to get into the playoffs as a top six seed. We're two and a half games better than Utah. And we've been better than kind of the seven seeds throughout the whole season. Curry's averaging Curry numbers, 28 and a half points, 3.9 rebounds, 5.8 assists, shooting 47% from the field, 43% from three, and 94% from the line. Kuminga, there we go. He's going to earn a big contract for me this offseason. I mean, the three-point shot isn't there, so it's tough with the floor spacing at times. But you know what? At least he's been efficient inside as a scorer, um, and he's playmaking a little bit better this year. And it looks like the defense has improved. What a pickup Grayson Allen has been. Oh my God. 50, 40, 90, almost 50, 50, 90 efficiency, 16 points, 3.3 assists, and he's still 29 years old. Yeah, he'll be back next year. No, Pojemski's efficiency has kind of fallen off a cliff. I mean, I think I may just tell him to stop taking threes because uh, that's a little alarming, a little alarming. Everything has gone down. He's definitely entered a sophomore slump. Draymond, his efficiency sucks, yeah, to, to put it bluntly, but you know what? He's a playmaker. He's a good defender. I don't think I'm going to trade him now. I mean, his contract will be, I think, all right, it's not expiring technically because he has that player option, but it's definitely tradable this offseason. So we'll, we'll think about it when the time comes. I'm fine with Bagley as a backup big. I'm fine with Trey Jackson Davis. Kavon Mooney's actually been playing good this year. Um, so you know what? I don't know if I'm going to make a move. I think I'm going to give Kavon Mooney like a two-year extension similar to what like Lonnie Walker's making and Grayson Allen's making. And we're going to re-sign Marvin Bagley as well. So one second overall pick didn't work out for Golden State that they drafted in James Wiseman. But another one did in Marvin Bagley, even though they didn't draft him. I don't think I'm going to... I'll bring it back on the minimum. Why not? Gary Payton, he's been here for a minute. Obviously, we're going to pay Kuminga a ton of money. And there's a window we would have that we could... Like all these contracts could descend. Uh, we trade Draymond... And we don't have to pay Kuminga yet. There's a chance we could add another co-star to maybe Curry. But we'll see when that time comes. I'm hoping that this team can do well and we can end up guaranteed as a top six seed. Because if we're playing tournament team, I think we'll be screwed. Also, I did want to see how the G League guys are doing in Trey Alexander and Devin Carter. Because they could have a future plan, future plans with us as well. So Carter is rebounding like a beast as he is at Providence. 13 points. The efficiency is not there. Um, 33% from three. We'll see how that translates. Trey Alexander has been struggling as well. So those aren't great signs for their development. So Luca goes back to back with MVPs. Alexander Saar is the rookie of the year. That would never have happened if they didn't trade for Andrew Wiggins and move on from Marvin Bagley. Six man of the year is Ben Simmons. Wemby Depoy, most improved. What? What? I mean, his efficiency ended up being a little bit better after I last saw you guys, but most improved for Brozemski in year two. I don't agree with that. Curry, clutch player of the year. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. Curry's got to be on an all-NBA team, right? What? No clutch player of the year? Oh, he makes clutch player of the year, but not an all-NBA team. I don't know. I just think it would happen. Also, Steph Curry, after all. So, uh, we didn't get, obviously, any of our rookies on an all-rookie team. No Draymond on an all-defensive team. We ended the season as the three seed. Yes, I am very happy. I didn't make any moves to blow up this team at the deadline or just make any trades at all. We're going to be taking on Minnesota. Definitely a tough test for us because of their size in that front court. Hopefully, German doesn't get himself suspended going up against Rudy Gobert. Last time that happened, that was great. What a pickup Grayson Allen's been. How is he not sixth man of the year? The dude was a beast. And I'm excited about this team going into the playoffs too. Even Monty Walker shot 38% from three. Do you guys think that, like, Steph will definitely have a statue outside of the Chase Center, but do you think Clay and Draymond would? I'm not really sure. I think I may actually start Grayson Allen at the two. Because we could use that floor spacing because Pozemski really hasn't been much of a floor spacer. Uh, do I want to start Trace Jackson Davis? I kind of do, honestly. Uh, he's 6'9 as well. I mean, we don't really have much size as our centers. Um, let's give him like 28 minutes a night. Let's go with 33 to Draymond. Um, we're going to play the starters a ton. I think Lonnie Walker uh, is going to get like 10 minutes. Let's go 18 to Bagley and Mooney. So they're going to play a ton. Let's go 36 to Kaminga. Let's go 34 to Grayson Allen. I mean, that season he just had was off the charts. All right, so let's see what happens here. Game number one, Golden State picks up the victory by 16. Curry doing Curry things. Gray, uh, Graymond, Grayson Allen with 18. Uh, Draymond with 15, 9, 6, and 3. Kuminga with 12, 10, and 3. He got into foul trouble and he struggled. Game number two, if we can go up 2 that would be huge. Now they tie it. All right, so they split the games in... Uh, in Golden State. Damn, Kuminga had a great game here. This is where I'm thinking like Kuminga could break out. Two for 10 for Draymond. Not great. All right, game three, don't go down two to one. Oh my God. All right, we lost by a ton. 
That's not great. Curry with 47, 7, and 5. Did I just see? That ain't who I think it is. James Wiseman is destroying us in the playoffs. He had 23 and 7 in 21 minutes. All right, well, this is must win game number four. We don't want to go down three to one, and the season might be over. Wow, what a collapse. What a collapse from this team. Damn, Curry struggled. Trey Jackson Davis took 17 shots. Grayson Allen, man, I put so much faith into you. How do you go from 50% from the regular season to 38%, 47 to 24? Ugh. Game number five, don't lose. Oh my God, what a disappointing end to the season. Grayson Allen has a good game here, but Curry shot four for 14. Uh, he was good. I mean, Kuminga was not very good in the playoffs. I, I mean, I'm still going to pay him. I have no choice, but that is unfortunate. Lonnie Walker. All right. Well, you were not very good. Uh, damn. All right. Well, I didn't think we were going to win a championship this year. And honestly, this was a good result. I like us winning all those games, making it as a three seed is nice. Maybe us having a top five pick also would have been nice. Are the Bucks going to win back to back? Yes, they do. They beat the Pelicans in five. But I think we're going to do some things this offseason for sure, because I'm going to try to win a championship next year. Chris Paul retires as a Dallas Maverick. Him and Russ are heading to the Hall of Fame. Both get their jersey retired by the teams they were the best on. So Jeff Lottery's done. The Spurs can add Cooper Flag to Victor Wimbanyama. New York teams are picking two and three with Phoenix at two, New York at three. Uh, we do have our first round pick at 24. Uh, Kenny Atkinson is a free agent. He could be the successor to Steve Kerr. I'm going to look to re-sign him now to be our assistant head coach. Still don't know why the Nets moved on from him uh, back in, what, 2020? I don't know. I know, like, it was a culture thing, and would he have a good relationship with KD and Kyrie? It still just didn't make a lot of sense, because they've now had how many coaches since that? With Steve Nash, Jock Vaughn, now Kevin Ollie. It's hard to put, like, a value on Draymond Green specifically, just because what he does does not show up in the box score. He's 35 years old. But I'm going to see if uh, San Antonio, who has four first-round picks, um, 25, they have, what, 20? and 21 that I'm going to look to acquire here from them for Draymond. They also have pick one. That's going to be Cooper Flag, and they could put Wemby next to, or excuse me, they could put Draymond next to Wemby, and that could be a great defensive front court. Um, and Draymond getting up there in age, so I don't mind him sending, uh, sending him to the Western Conference. Let's see if they even do this trade, and they say no to it. Uh, I don't know if I would want to include anything else. I mean, I would give you Gary Payton, but I don't even know if Gary Payton would agree to this trade. Yeah. Lonnie Walker seems to have some value. I don't know if I'd be able to steal like one of these Hawks picks. Like, would we be able to get this done? No, I don't need two first rounders in this draft. So maybe we take a chance on that first. Man, I feel like I can get this done. What about if I throw a second in there? Okay, maybe I was gonna, like I plan on trading Lonnie Walker. So what about if it's gonna be Lonnie Walker and Draymond for pick 20 and that first from the Hawks. They agree to that. So Draymond is now a member of the San Antonio Spurs. We do have a window of cap space that I think we can use. The Spurs opted for Ace Bailey out of Rutgers with number one. Uh, it's going to be like oh, a two-man race for that number one pick, I believe, in 2025 between Bailey and Flag. Drake Powell goes three. Shout out to him in the Supersonics rebuild. Jill Leo Bethea, four. VJ Edgecombe, five. Uh, Carter Bryant, six. And we do have two first round picks here. So Damien Saar, I think is going to be my first pick. Jared McCain, they have him opting in uh, for the 2025 draft. I think it'll be the 2024 draft. He is out of Duke right now, but I'm going to go with Damien Saar. I've seen him develop very well. He might not play um, at all, but uh, this year, because eh, he's under a four-year contract and I got Devin Carter, I got Trey Alexander. So I think I'm fine there. Pick right after us is traded for Paul jo Oh my God. All right. I didn't know Paul George's value was that low. They take Xavier Booker and then the Pelicans right before us are also trading their pick. 23 for Rui Hashimura. I'm like, should I trade my pick now? It seems like it's going for solid value. So I'm going to see if I can move Kavon Mooney to Dallas for an unprotected pick down the line. So that is the case. So I'm going to opt with Marvin Bagley and Trey Jackson Davis potentially as my center duo next year. And I'm going to take Rocco Zakarski. Just looked him up, so it's not Rocky. So yeah, I'm going to take Zakarski. He could be a G League guy, but getting some center depth out of Australia. He plays in the NBL, and he's seven foot three. So I actually do like that draft from us. Uh, we're going to sign Sar and uh, Zakarski there. Team player options. Pozemski, welcome back. Trey Alexander, I will bring back. Also just looked up too. It's not Damien Sar. It's Dame Sar. Now, I wonder if that was named after like Damien Lillard. I doubt it because he's from Italy, and that could be like a popular Italian name, but that is pretty cool nonetheless. It's like we've seen a bunch of guys named Kobe now. I think because Kobe sparked that, like Kobe Bufkin. I feel like there's just other ones that I'm forgetting. So let's give Kuminga the qualifying offer. What is his cap hold right now? Is it high? He was drafted seventh overall. Um, it's 15 million. It's not terrible. How much money do we have right now? 
All right, so I would have, if we keep that cap hold in mind, about $42 million. So obviously we could have a trade on the table to clear up some money if we wanted to. Like I could easily move, I think Gary Payton, now I kind of regret that minimum contract extension. I could move Trey Alexander. I don't really want to move anybody in this tier because I like our young core, but I want to add a big name here, I do. And I think with the opportunity of moving Kaminga back to the four, um, we could look We could look out of four. Is this the time where I pair up LeBron? And Curry, I mean, would be cool. I would love Donovan Mitchell on this team. And I mean, we're definitely going to start off the offseason with offering him a contract. I mean, it is Jason Tatum at the end of the day. So I'm going to offer Jason Tatum a contract. Like there's a lot of guys that are restricted from the 2021 class. I don't know if Kyrie like obviously makes this that much better. I mean, let's let's just wait. I don't think Kaminga has any offers right now. I mean, just looking at top restri unrestricted free agents, like Jamal Murray does not make sense on this team. I mean, Jimmy Butler, I guess I may as well offer Jimmy Butler a deal. I don't know how I feel about a three-year deal to Jimmy at 35, but we may be desperate. Oh my God, I got, I got all three of them. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're going to obviously have to make some trades here because I'm keeping Kuminga. Um... I think we go for Tatum. I think that makes the most amount of sense. We're going to lure him away from Boston. He never won there. And he's going to wow, come play with Steph. That is going to be pretty dope. So, um, yeah, we're going to have Jason Tatum. who This is going to be his team in like two years when Steph retires. So we have now our number one. We don't have to look for that. Um, I think Jimmy, yeah, wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, I mean, like timeline-wise could um, with him being along with Curry. But I, I would have opted for Mitchell. Now, the thing is, we may have to make a tough decision. I hate that like I can't see the actual number, but I'm pretty sure I have to trade around $10 million to bring in Jason Tatum. Um, and Donovan Mitchell, I think I could opt to like do that without renouncing the rights on Kaminga, or it's a very small amount. And I don't really want to move Grayson Allen just because of how good he was for us last year. But it's really, oh my God, Kerry, why do you have to be making 59? Why couldn't you be making like 52? And as much as I don't want to move Grayson Allen, I think it has to be him. He was so good last year. He was so good. But if I move Bagley, like I'm literally going to lack so much big man depth. But I'm going to send Marvin Bagley and Trey Alexander to the uh, uh, to the Raptors for their Indiana pick, top three protected in 2026. That is from the Pascal Siakam trade. So is that enough? That might not even be enough. Oh my God, that's not enough. I wish I knew how much, like how close I was. I still think I need to move two more million and I'm already there. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want, because I, I still got to field out a good roster next year. All right, so I'm going to trade Gary Payton to the Nets for two second rounders. Now, if if I can't do this, I have to go for Donovan Mitchell. I can't, I can't afford to do anything else. Wow. All right. Well, I'm not getting Jason Tatum. Um, I mean, we could try to get Jason Tatum, but I would have to, I would have to, I don't know. We could try to get Jason Tatum. Let's see. But I would, I can't offer him the full max. I have to offer him. Oh my God. I was like 0.1 off. All right, I think I could do like that. We'll, we'll see if that even gets me Tatum. All right, it still does. All right, so we can, we can do Jason Tatum, thankfully. He does accept that. So I guess he wanted to come to Golden State. No, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I forgot to give Kaminga the max. Oh my God, I forgot to give Kaminga the max. No, Orlando. You're going to mess this all up. Oh, I'm going to lose Kaminga. I'm going to lose Kaminga. No, Orlando. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be so mad. I'm going to be so mad. Obviously, I can't match that because it's either Tatum or Kaminga, and I'm obviously going to choose Tatum. Orlando, why don't you re-sign Franz Wagner? Oh my god, and that was on the last day of free agency too, so it's not even like I could have traded my... Wow, all right, well that... Oh, I'm sad. I'm really sad. So I just lost Jonathan Kaminga. I just lost Jonathan Kaminga. I'm an idiot. Um, I guess we could try to get Jalen Johnson. Uh, that would be kind of nice. I think I would... That would maybe salvage, not this like at all, because I'd rather have Kuminga than Johnson. But at least we get Jalen Johnson. At least the Hawks let him go. Damn. All right. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. Why did you have to do that, Samir Wendo? You are enemy number one. I hope I'm in the finals next year, and I hope I beat you. All right. So I'm going to also sign Dayron Sharp as well to a two-year deal because we need some center help, and that is going to be the case. And we're going to do one more signing as well. I think I need maybe a wing. Um, let's go for, I guess we'll get Amir Coffee on a one-year deal. Oh, uh, I did not play that offseason all that well. I mean, I ended up with Jason Tatum, and obviously you prefer Tatum over Kaminga, but still. I could have had both, and I, I messed up. All I had to do was give Kaminga a max deal, not sign it, and then sign him after moratorium. Uh, I hate myself. I hate myself. But at least we may have 60 million coming up 
after Steph retires. All right, so uh, Curry, Pochemski, Grayson Allen, Tatum, Trace Jackson Davis. Uh, what do I like here? No, I think I'm going to start Jalen Johnson. Um, and Grayson Allen was better suited off the bench last year. So I think I'm going to play the young guys. Um, Amir Coffey could just be like a, like a safety valve in case I need somebody in there. But Devin Carter is going to go in there. I may play Damian Saar just to get him some reps. I think Rocco is going to spend some time in the G League. Uh, so Curry, 37. Tatum, 37. Let's go 30 to Pojumski. Let's go 33 to Jalen Johnson. Uh, let's go 30 to Trace Jackson Davis. Let's go 30 to Grayson Allen. Um, and then I actually think I'm going to go like 27 to these guys. Daron Sharp can get 20. I think he could be pretty good for us. Let's go 17 to Devin Carter. Let's go 12 to Dame Saar. I'm going to send Rocco Zakarski to the G League. Now, if I moved uh, like Tatum to a small forward, does he go up? He does. Jalen Johnson also goes up. So I think I'm going to just have Jalen Johnson be the small forward because Tatum, 97 or 96. Like, you're splitting hairs at that point. So game one of the season on the road against the Thunder. Let's see how we perform. And we lost by 11. Uh, Tatum with 25, 7, 8. We also lost Draymond, too, this offseason. Like, I traded him away. So um, I have no idea how this team is going to perform, to be honest with you. Can we start off the season 2-1? and one? Yep, we beat the Lakers on the road. 28 for Curry, 23 for Tatum. I'm intrigued to see how the Spurs do. I hope we play them in the playoffs. I Orlando, you're, you're going to beat me. It's probably the only two times we play them. If they beat me twice, oh my God, they steal Kaminga from me. And they have Cade. What the? F oh my God, I hate you. I hate you. I'm jealous of you and I hate you. All right, so we are 37 and 15 in the Jason Tatum Golden State Warrior era. I'm... I'm happy with this. I don't know why still. I feel salty with myself that I didn't get Kaminga back, but it's fine. So 22 games above 500. Top seed of the West. Curry's now a number two, which is phenomenal. And he could be on his way to getting a ring before he retires. Jalen Johnson, maybe not spacing the four all too well, but he's honestly been very good for us. And he's still 24. He could be here for a long, long time. Grayson Allen is still giving me really good efficiency. That 50% did seem like an outlier somewhat, but... I don't know, man. He's still shooting 41% from 394 from the line. Pojemski's efficiency has gotten a little bit better this year. He still has to improve if he wants a second contract from me. Chase Jackson Davis is going to be 10 points, 8 rebounds, 1.2 steals, 1.9 box. He's underrated. I would like to bring him back, and he's efficient. Devin Carter's rookie season, very good. He's flirting like 50, 40, 80 in his rookie season. Also, 3.1 rebounds, 2.2 assists, like that. Daron Sharp. Fine backup big. I, I mean, we're 37 and 15. I don't think I'm going to make any uh, adjustments right now. So I will see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully that this team can win a playoff series after getting eliminated last year. But also just want to see San Antonio is the five seed with Draymond Green, who is coming off the bench for them right now. Orlando. See, you didn't even need Kaminga. You're the 13. How are you the 13 seed with this lineup? What? Also, we're going to give Steph a two-year, $80 million extension. I don't know when he's going to retire, but I'll take that. So we're going to actually save $20 million with that extension. I don't need to re-sign Trey Jackson Davis yet because he's got a $2 million team option next year. All right, so Vuka Doncic is your MVP again. Cooper Flagg, the number two overall pick, rookie of the year to the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Jairus Walker, six men of the year to the Pacers. Wemby Depoy again. Johnny Davis, most improved. Shout out to him turning his career around of Washington. And Tyrese Maxey, clutch player of the year. Steve Kerr, coach of the year as well, 64 four in 18 record as we got Jason Tatum who could have won MVP on all NBA second team glad to see him not like take a step back this year and obviously he's been and will be our number one Devin Carter on all rookie second team end up shooting 42 percent from three on the year like that's phenomenal and we are the one seed in the Western Conference we're taking on Memphis in round number one I know they drafted Cody Williams number one in the draft uh and he's been okay maybe not number one overall pick hype though so Minnesota ended up not making the playoffs this year after they ended up beating us last year we could play San Antonio in round number two which would be cool because that will be Draymond against his former team and here is pretty much the end of the season scoring numbers right now uh so I'm excited about this team I think it can win a championship but who knows I could end up being disappointed don't lose to Memphis in round one I think that would be very embarrassing um and we end up oh I want to yell so loudly right now maybe that's why I shouldn't simulate rounds oh my god we blew a 3-0 lead oh my god we beat him by 11 in game one three in game two, 21 in game three, and then we ended up losing three straight, four straight, two of them being in overtime. I am at a loss for words right now. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe, Curry, you should retire. Oh my god, what the hell, man? Curry, no, he was phenomenal. What? I, I, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. In the last, like, calendar year of this rebuild, I lost Kuminga on a brain fart, and then I blew a 3-0 lead. Oh, and we would have faced San Antonio, which would have been cool. Memphis is in the conference finals as well. Oh, my God. Donovan Mitchell ended up signing with Detroit. I mean, they lost Cade Cunningham, and the Thunder ended up winning in six. 
Shea is your finals MVP. I can't believe we blew a 3 0 lead. LeBron was in Detroit with Donovan Mitchell. Okay. Tibbs uh, also retires. LeBron and Harden are going to the Hall of Fame. Damn, Harden retired at 36. That seems kind of young for him. I am just at a lost. For words, man. I really am. So we don't have any lottery picks here. Um, our pick is going to be at 29. We also have Indiana's pick at 19 and Dallas's pick at 27. So I do have three first rounders. I don't think I want to add that many rookies, but if I can move 27 and 29 for like a future first, I'm going to do that. I want to see if the Thunder would give me the swap best with the Mavericks for that. I will also throw in my two seconds. Like, I don't want to add that many rookies to this team right now. I want veteran players. So we ended up doing that. Hopefully that pick between Dallas or Thunder. It's a swap best, so that is a little bit more valuable. I just need one of those teams to be bad. Um, and that is in the year, what year is that? 2028. We have the Hawks first rounder next year with our first rounder. Uh, and we have 19. I'm going to make that selection, though. The number one pick in the 26 draft is going to be the Pelicans. Are they trading the pick? No, they still have Cameron Boozer. Clippers take Kobe. Pete at number two. I would have taken AJ DeBanza. Darren Peterson, three to the Kings. The Bucks select AJ DeBanza. And we're going to take a wing out of USC. We're going to take Bryce James, the younger brother of Bronny James, and obviously the son of LeBron James. So that is kind of funny. We got Bryce James on the team. He's probably going to be in the G League next year, but he could also play. We'll see. So Pozemski, Jackson Davis, Devin Carter picking up all those team options. Trey and Luca are free agents. No qualifying offers to deal with. I think we're going to look for an upgrade over Dayron Sharp, and I can give him like my mid level exception. I'm going to give him three years. Last year will be a team option, but we're going to pay Daniel Gafford. Uh, Grayson Allen is probably going to be gone if I can't bring him back. But I think I want to prioritize getting a good big man in Daniel Gafford before that. All right, so I can re-sign Grayson Allen. I'm going to give him a two-year deal. Team option, though. Give us some team control with that. And we're going to be a lot deeper of a team next year. Like, we have Tatum and Curry. We have Johnson, Pozemski, Gafford. I don't know if Sharp's going to play. We'll see. We have Allen, Jackson Davis. Like, who's going to play? I don't know if Rocco is going to get notable minutes. He could be a two-year G League guy. As Luka goes to the Raptors, KD back to the Suns, Evan Mobley to the Wizards, Trey Young back to the Hawks, Scotty Barnes to the T-Wolves. I put this on 95 CPU resign aggressiveness. Tier and Fox of the Mavericks, okay. So Steph Curry regresses down to a 92, but nothing too bad. And we see a lot of progression, which is nice. All right, so it's definitely going to be the same starting five as last year. I would wonder if I think Devin Carter is better than Pozemski and I should start him. Um, let's... Mm, I don't know. We'll see about that. So how deep do I want this rotation to go? I think Daron Sharp, he was fine last year, but I don't think he's going to play right away for us. I think Grayson Allen, you can probably get 16 minutes. I think... I think Gafford's going to start over Jackson Davis, but I think Jackson Davis is still going to play a ton. So I don't think Zakarski's going to play either. I might give, uh, give like Daron Sharp five minutes a night. So I'm going to send Bryce James to the Santa Cruz Warriors. And I think Zakarski could play. We'll see if I want to give him a shot and see what he looks like. I mean, looking at our salary cap breakdown um, going into the future, like Grayson Allen, I think will be gone after this year because he's 31 too. So this could be his last year. I think Pozemski is going to be a big decision we got to make. Him and Trey Jackson Davis are going to be free agents. Obviously, Jackson Davis will be a little bit cheaper. Um, and we'll see how like Rocco Zakarski develops this year. But the fact that we lost in round one last year really made me up like kind of freaking out because I thought all right this could be a dynasty in the making like not dynasty in the making but like this could be the start of like maybe back-to-back -back rings because I think we were going to be good this year as well but the fact that we lost and blew a 3 0 lead last year just kind of like I don't know it's making me second guess everything I've done in this rebuild so far even though like 3 no start man I mean I still think we're gonna be finals contenders it's just really weird how that happened all right, so we're here at the trade deadline. We're not as good as we were last year, but we're still 10 games above 500, only two and a half games back of the Rockets for the one seed in the West. Tatum is averaging 27.7 uh, points, still is going to be up there in the MVP conversation as he's in like the middle of his prime at 28. I know he comes to Golden State and then gets bounced in round one. Curry solving an elite season as a number two option efficiency wise. Devin Carter though, whoa, he's 24, but he's developing like crazy. And I think with his emergence, I don't know, like Pujemski is good, but it makes... Uh, like him a little bit redundant and i don't know if we need pozemski as well uh trace jackson davis is fine as a backup big grayson allen has been very efficient for us there's daniel gafford dame Sar, i think could develop as well so i think um the team would look a little bit different bench wise next year but i think this team could still win a championship this year and let's bring back trace jackson davis on a three-year deal worth around 24 million fully guaranteed so tyrese halberton of the indiana pacers is your mvp of the season at 27 years old it's incredible stuff. Cameron Boozer, Rookie of the Year. Six Man of the Year goes to Nikola Topic in Utah in his third year of his career. Deep Boy goes to Wemby. Zach Eady, most improved, all right, in Utah. Or excuse me, in Atlanta. And then Kyrie Irving back in Cleveland. Love that. Clutch Player of the Year, Rick Carl, Coach of the Year. I mean, we got Tatum, I believe, on an All-NBA team last year. He does make All-NBA third team this year. So Curry was never going to make one again. That's kind of sad, man. 
But we finished the season as the one seed for the second straight year. We end up passing Houston. We pass OKC. They kind of fell off. There's San Antonio. I don't think... I don't know if Draymond... No, he's still there. He didn't retire. So we're taking on the Lakers in round number one. I mean, Tatum was a beast. There's Curry, Carter, Jalen Johnson's efficiency was... Not great, actually, this year, which is not alarming, but I think I'm going to dock him, at least minutes-wise, in the playoffs. Like, should I play Grayson Allen over him? Maybe. All right, so I think Dame Sar is going to get, like, 10 minutes a night as the ninth man. Trey Jackson Davis is going to get 24 minutes along with Devin Carter. We'll do 18 to Jalen Johnson. Uh, let's do 27 at Gafford, 38 Tatum, 30... Yeah, eight Curry's fine. And then let's do 30 to Pozemski and Grayson Allen, and we could do one more to Daniel Gafford. So the Lakers no longer have LeBron. They have Devo and Suggs in the backcourt. Tybal and uh, Vanderbilt at the forwards. AD at the five. They have Reeves, Hachifino, Wiseman. Damn, we got to face this guy again in round one. And they beat us by 20. What is going on? Why is Pozemski taking 16 shots? Game number two goes to the Warriors. We beat him by six. Curry with 37. Cur or excuse me, Tatum 37. Curry 32. Devon or Devin Carter 26, 5, 5, and 3. <laughs> okay, it's really good. Game number three goes to the Lakers by one. Am I going to lose to an eight seed again? Am I going to lose to an eight seed again? I better come back down three to one. If not, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Three to two. Wow, we blow them out. Man, we're about to lose to an eight seed two years in a row. 2K does not like the Warriors. Maybe they like the Spurs. Maybe they like the Wizards, the Hornets, whatever. It is looking like we are going to force a Game 7 after being down 3-1. to one. So maybe we're going to be on the other end of somebody blowing a 3-1 to one lead. Um, or last year was a 3-0 lead. For them, it would be a 3-1. to one. I don't care. Just get me a series victory. It's looking good for us. It is. I won't lie. And I say that. And then we have a terrible... We have 39 points in the second. What is that? We have a good third quarter. Come on. Close it out. We're up by 10. Up by 8. Up by five. Oh my God, it's tied with 33 seconds left. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Tatum. What are you shooting? All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's see. And we're on defense. That is just fantastic. So obviously, oh my God, who is guarding Anthony Davis? Is that Grayson Allen? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God. How do I defend? Okay, okay. Get over here, Gafford. Get over here. I don't care. James Wiseman can't shoot. James Wiseman can't shoot. And he's going to hit that. All right, Curry. It's your... I don't know. It's one of your final years. Can you hit a game winner in game seven, please? Can you get over the screen? Can you get over the screen? Curry gets a good look for three. Please, Curry. Please. He hits that. That was a three, right? Let's go. Let's go, Steph. We needed that. All right. I don't want to go to overtime. I didn't want to play for OT. Uh, I should have put out a better defensive lineup. I don't really love this. I had assumed they were going to want to go to AD. All right. Curry, please guard D-Lo. All right. They go to... Oh, Pozemski almost got the steal. Oh, he cuts. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't Sug shoot that? Oh, my I just lost game seven to an eight seed. I was so shocked Jalen Suggs didn't shoot that inside. And then Devo hits a three in Curry's face. Well, isn't that poetic? All right, so I feel like I... <laughs> oh my God, why make me one seed if you're gonna make me lose? Why tease me to coming back? Why do that? Oh my God, oh my God. I, I'm done, I'm done. Curry, can you retire, please? It's just not meant to be. I'm firing Steve Kerr. I got nothing else to say. Pacers uh, win it all. Jalen Green is your finals MVP. They beat the Thunder in five. KD retires, Curry, you should join him. Kerr, you want to retire? All right, well, he doesn't. KD and Paul George head to the Hall of Fame. Next year will be the first year of the expansion rebuild or the expansion teams. I could add one team. I think that's weird. I'm just going to add two next year. Draft lottery time. The Nets are picking at one via Philly. Shout out to the James Harden trade at two at Phoenix. Shout out to the KD trade. Uh, we have our pick at 28. And then we also have Atlanta's pick at 14, which we got in the Draymond trade. Okay, Kerr was a free agent, so I don't have to fire him. I don't remember if... If Tatum liked Ime Odoka when he was in Boston, but I hope he did. And we're going to use that as his connection to come here and be the Golden State Warriors next head coach. It's not going to be Atkinson now. I'm going to trade Jalen Johnson, yep, to the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't know. It's just a weird fit, I guess. I, he was a consolation prize of, or I guess plan B of losing um, Kaminga. But we're getting Santi Aldama, who might play, he might not. Uh, and I'm getting an unprotected first round pick later on. So this may mean I'm going to bring back Pojemski. The Nets with the number one overall pick select Spencer Wennington out of Maryland at 7'3 center. And at number two, Gabe McDaniels out of UConn. That looks 
pretty solid. So I'm taking Lewis Mills out of Louisville with the 14th pick and Alan Debenovich out of Lithuania with 28. Yeah, now that we're in the auto-generated rookie phases, they look fine. They look fine. I have no idea if they're going to ever play. We'll see. I think for 8 mil, I'm, I may actually bring back Grayson Allen now. Pojemski, uh, we'll see how much he wants in free agency. Wemby's a free agent. Brandon Miller, yes. All the guys from the 23 class. Pojemski wants 22 mil. Uh, we're going to let Daron Sharp walk. Yeah, Javon Carter, yeah. All right, so I'm going to sign Pojemski to a three-year, $51 million deal. It's tradable if I feel like he's not going to be a good fit later on. Wemby goes back to San Antonio. Curry regresses down to a 90. Devin Carter's up to an 84. I, I don't know, man. I keep thinking that this could be a championship team, and then we keep getting embarrassed every year. All right, so it's going to be Curry, Carter, Tatum with Jackson Davis and Gafford off the bench. And then we're going to have Pojemski, Grayson Allen, Dame Sar, Rocco Zakarski, and Bryce James in the starting five. I'm going to send um, Lewis Mills to the Santa Cruz Warriors. We're not going to be defense under Yumeo Doka. We're going to be balanced for this year. Maybe we're a team that makes a trade at the deadline. We'll see. I, I don't know if we're going to be better than we were last year. I mean, we beat the Thunder by 20 to start off the year. I'll take that. And then we start off the year 2-0. and I'm not letting them suck me in. I'm not. All right, so this team is 28 and 24 at the deadline. I mean, maybe I'd rather be a five seed in the Western Conference because this team cannot win as a one seed. Uh, Curry is 39 years old. I have no idea if he's going to retire at the end of the year. He's still being a 50, 40, 90 guy. Devin Carter has been good for us, I think, on both ends of the floor. I mean, Pojemski is fine. I don't know if I would want to upgrade maybe the power forward spot specifically because I think like we're just getting like inexperienced play at the back end of the bench. And I'm going to make this trade with the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to be trading them Santi Aldama and Lewis Mills, who is just my most recent first round pick. And we're getting Patrick Williams in a second round pick in this deal. So that means like Trey Jackson Davis is probably going to move to the bench. I don't think that Bryce James is going to play anymore for this season. I don't think Patrick Williams is going to save the year by any means, but I think he'll be a nice addition. And I think like I'm always going to stump Sars development as like a bench score for us as long as I have Grayson Allen here. So I know I said this last year, but I think this will be Grayson Allen's last year as a warrior. And Tatum is due for an extension, so we're going to give him a three-year deal. And we're going to end the season with 50 wins at least. So we had a nice second half. Wemby takes home his first MVP award. Spencer Wennington, the number one overall pick, is your rookie of the year. Tyrese Proctor, sixth man of the year. Wemby Depoy, most improved goes to Jaden Quintans. Uh, Nicole Jokic, clutch boy of the year. And Abraham Navarro, coach of the year so pop is no longer there i would think like this is your five i thought we'd have a ring or two by now tatum all nba third team just getting deja vu we're the three seed though maybe that's better for us but last time we were a three seed we lost to minnesota so we've actually lost in round one every single year of this rebuild which is a shame we've yet to have like a really good center maybe that's something i feel like i need to add i mean patrick williams is fine he's a good defender and he shoots well from three so i mean i'm gonna go 30 i think two to gafford for the starting lineup like i'm trying to construct this rotation for the playoffs i'm gonna go 22 to pojemski i'm gonna go 20 to trey jackson davis i mean grayson allen is still a good shooter but i don't know man it still doesn't work out well in the playoffs dame star is pretty good as well i'm gonna give you know, I'm going to play Dame Star over Grayson. Grayson's going to get 10 minutes tonight. That's going to be the four-man bench. I got about 14 more minutes to deal with here. We're, we'll do something like maybe this. And then, you know what? I can go like 15 Allen and one more to Projemski. I don't know. Is this team going to win a championship? I thought we were the last couple of years. And this team could be worse. So we're taking on the Thunder, who have won a championship in this video so far. They have just as good of a roster than us. Game number one goes to the Thunder by two points. Two points. Two points. All right. Devin Carter at 28. Game number two... Goes to the Warriors. We end up winning by 16. Guess nobody said it's going to be easy, right? Game three goes to the Thunder by 16. All right, Tatum with 37. Devin Carter's really good, man. Dame Star is good as well. I, t I can't let Curry walk, which is the problem. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind, and we just lost in five. Like, that's the fourth straight year of losing in round one. Fifth straight year. Well, I, I guess the first year we ended up losing in the playing tournament. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. I may need to like come back in a little bit, take my mind off this and just figure out what to do because this is deflating me. Spurs win in seven and Wemby gets MVP and finals MVP in the same season. So Curry does not retire, um, which I guess is pretty notable. And I forgot to add some expansion teams. So I apologize. That'll happen next year. All right. All right. Dallas is bad though. They don't have Luka. And I think I made that trade. I forget if it was before or after Luka left for the Raptors, but yeah, we could end up with a topic in the draft. We, all, we also have Memphis's pick at 14, which is from the Jalen Johnson deal. And the Dallas pick stays at four. Okay. And the Memphis pick stays at 14. So we have four, 14, and 27 to work with. And I will have some cap space this offseason before free agency because Curry's contract is currently ran up right now. I feel like this team could use a Bam out of bio. Jimmy is retired. Bam is 30 now. Would they be interested? 
interested in the fourth overall pick. I would give you four, 27, 40, and 50 for Bam, who's got two years left on his deal. He's 30 years old. But I think we, I, I think that's what I'm going to change. I think I'm going to look to get our best big man yet. Uh, Daniel Gafford's a free agent. Trace Jackson Davis will be the backup. And we have Rocco Sikarski as well. They're going to say no. I thought about throwing in Patrick Williams. But I think, like, we have Bryce James to develop. I'll throw in Alan Dabanovic. Does that change it? It does. Okay. So we land Bam Adebayo. And we still have the 14th overall pick in this draft. Let's see who they take it for. The Sixers are at number one. And they end up trading the pick. Oh, my God. For who? For Chris Ops and Derek White. All right. Um, I had that offer on the table for four. Um, and they take Tommy Landry, who's the number one pick out of Tennessee. Is he going to be better than Tatum? We'll see. Andre Howard goes two. Charlotte Hornets at three are going to trade that pick as well. For Josh Giddy and Chris Middleton. And they take Theo Stewart Jr., uh, Milwaukee. And then Herbert Reynolds goes four. All right. So there was some centers there. So I took a project player out of NC State, Nelson Pickett, who's 74 overall. Um, he's 19. He'll be in the G League. But I got Bryce James as like a wing guy right now. We could bring back Gafford, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, I'm fine with Trace Jackson Davis being the backup. And we have Bam at a bio right now. So Sar, Zakarski, Bryce James, welcome back. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't win a single playoff series with Daniel Gafford. I'm going to give Steph Curry a one-year extension. Uh, Grayson Allen, I never got out of round one with you, so I'm not going to bring you back. All right, so we get Steph back on that. I'm going to renounce the rights on Gafford and Allen. I'm going to take a chance on Elliot Kiddo on a two-year deal to potentially be a backup point guard for us behind Steph. Damn, damn, damn. The Bucks overpaid on Devin Carter, too, and they're going to make me bring out my checkbooks. Four-year, 114. I got to bring him back. Uh, I got to bring him back. He's really good. I thought he'd be a little bit cheaper, um, and yeah, we're going to match that. All right, so Steph Curry has regressed down to an 88. Bam's an 89. This is still a very good team on paper. It is. We're very deep. But maybe I got to start looking at Steph as a number three and not a number two. I mean, he's 40 years old and he's not good on defense anymore. All right, so this is the bench of Pojemski, Sar. I want to see what he can do, man. Bryce, uh, Chase Jackson Davis, and Rocco Zakarski. It's going to be Bam, um, Patrick Williams in the front court. And then we're going to start, I think, Devin Carter with Curry in the backcourt and Tatum as the three. System proficiency is four and a half star balanced. And before I forget, let me add two expansion teams. All right, we're going to add a Canadian team, but not the Vancouver Huskies. We're going to add the Montreal Islanders. I like that. Actually, you know what? Let's add two. Let's do, add two Canadian teams. We'll add the Vancouver team, the Vancouver Huskies, and we'll add the Montreal Islanders. So now we're, there's going to be three Canadian teams joining Toronto, or two new ones joining Toronto, three total next year. We start off the year against Portland on the road, and we won by 14. I don't care, though. I don't, until I can see us get out of round one. So Luka Doncic in Toronto is your MVP. Dash Daniels in Boston is your rookie of the year. He's the 40th pick. Shout out to like Malcolm Brogdon. Hugo Gonzalez is six man. Uh, Sword Thompson, Depoy. Okay, so not Wemby. Interesting. Jamal Mosley, coach of the year. Luka, Jokic, Sar, Topic, and Flag all on All-NBA first team. Josh, Shea, Harper, Wemby, DeBanta on second team. No Tatum on third team. We do get Devin Carter on all defensive first team. This dude is actually a beast, and we've developed him well. And for the third time in this video, we're the three seed. We're 0-2 so far in round ones in, as the three seed, but we're also 0-4 in general because we've lost twice as a one seed. I know Steph isn't what he used to be, man, but can we please win a playoff series? I think it's his final year. Also, Bryce James played fine this year. Uh, 7.8 points, 3.9 rebounds, 21 years old. All right, so here goes nothing against Memphis. They got Ja, Malik Monk, Carter Knox, Kawhi Leonard at, what age is he? 37. Uh, he averaged 7.8 points. We should beat them, but I've said that almost every year of this rebuild. We beat them by 15 in game number one. Uh, Pojemski with 28, 8, and 7 off the bench. Love that. Game number two goes to Golden State. We end up winning by 26 points. Hit him with 47 and 7. Bam. There we go. That's why we acquired Bam. Game number three. Can we go up 3 0, please? Yes, we can. I've been up 3-0 before. I, I'm scared, man. I'm scared, man. We're up 3-0, and we sweep them. All right, so for the first time in this video, we make it out of round one. Mazel tov. I mean, Jason Tatum was phenomenal in those four games. Curry is still, like, efficient at the end of the day. Yeah, he still is. Bam was a beast. There we go. Um, Devin Carter was good. Pozemski was good. Sar was really good. Who are we taking on? San Antonio. So they definitely don't have Draymond anymore. And that team is also very stacked, so I don't feel great about this. They beat us in game one. Oh, God, <laughs> they blow us out. All right. Damn, Devin Carter and Bam come on for six for 24 shooting. Not good at all. Game number two. We win, though. All right, by 16. So we split them in San Antonio. I will take that. I will take that. Devin Carter, you are a beast. Game number three. Come on. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We won by 20. Let's go. We have a good center. We have a great center. Game four. We're up three to one. We're up three to one. That's what I'm talking about. We're one game away from the conference finals. Do not blow this. 
Don't blow this. I don't care about this game. Oh my god! I hate my life. Oh my god, why do we have to blow a 3-1 to lead? We get blown out by 19 in game number 5, and then in game 6. We lost by 45 points. Love that. Alright, here we go. Game 7. Winner is going to go to the conference finals. Don't do this to me. We were up 3-1. to Oh my god. Don't make me get blown out, too. Please. Alright, we're up by 10. We're up by 8. Come on. They come back, but then we pull away. We're up by 12. I think our largest lead of the night in the third here. We're up by 18. Oh, are we going to blow them out? Let's go. Oh my god, don't choke that. Oh my god, no way. Wait, we're up by 12. Up by 7, I think we got this. We're up by 5. Yep. God, we ended up winning by 3. I swear we were up by like 22 in the fourth quarter. And we ended up winning by 3, but I don't care. A conference finals appearance is a conference finals appearance. We're taking on the one-seeded Rockets. All right, so this could be Curry's last year. It would be nice to go out on top. They also have a very good team, but I feel like San Antonio could be better. We win game one by 14. That's what we've been doing, man. We've won every single game one so far. Game number two, we lost this one. Ugh, we got blown out. We've had some bad losses in the playoffs. Devin Carter was so good in game one. Game number three goes to Golden State. Devin Carter drops 30 for me, man. Just an elite shooter, an elite player. Game number four... We're up 3-1, to one, but we were also up 3-1. to one. Oh my god, Devin Carter. I, Curry, I need you to retire so Carter could average like 28 at night next year. Don't blow a 3-1 to one lead here. Don't do this to me again. Yes, 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 yes. Who would have thought, man, Devin Carter, Western Conference Finals MVP, the 23rd pick back in the 2024 draft. He's a stud at Providence right now. I don't think he's ever going to be a Conference Finals MVP in his career, but we've developed him to being an absolute stud. A stud, man. We're taking on Toronto with Luka Doncic. So they have Luka, Jacoby Walter, who's currently at Baylor right now. Ron Holland, who's playing for the G League Ignite. Two potential top 10 picks. Jabari Smith, Aiden Sheridan. Okay, that's a very good starting five. Their bench isn't phenomenal, but they have Luka Doncic at the end of the day. They won game one by four. Mm, we won every uh, game one so far, so I don't love that. Game two, god damn it. You're going to bring me to the finals just to beat me? All right, there we go. There we go. We ended up... Winning game three, don't lose game four, don't. Yes, we're back in this, baby. Devin Carter is him. Devin Carter is a legend. Game five. Oh my God, we've won three in a row. All right, all right. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Game six, I think it's in Golden State. Yes, it is. Please win at home. I don't want to go to a game seven. They'll beat us in game seven. They'll beat us in seven games for sure. It's close, man. It's back and forth here. Don't let them pull away. We just could not score at all in that second or early third. We're down by nine, down by 11, down by nine. Ah, I think we're going to a game seven. Yeah, we lost by 12. All right, game seven here. This could be Curry's last year, 2029 playoffs. Just don't get blown out. That would be the end of me. I would I would be very upset. I, it's just anticlimactic, you know? All right, here we go. We're up by seven in the third. There we go. We're up by 14 in the third. We're up by 15. What a third quarter. We're up by 11. Just don't blow this, please. Up by six. Oh, man, we're blowing it. Up by 11 again. Come on. Come on. I'm just so nervous. I can't like let it go too fast because I'm going to hop in eventually here. But we're up by 11 with two, under two minutes to go. I think it's going to be okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let's not blow this. All right. So we also have the ball, which is nice. Why does I like, I feel like every team or every time I hop in SimCast, the team that's winning just has the ball always. I don't know if that's actually true though. Jason Tatum, three ball. I need this. Mm, he missed that. Okay, Aiden Sheridan with the rebound. I mean, they could make this a five-point game. They could make this a four-point game if they hit a three. Just no threes here. Uh, they kick it to Jacoby Walter inside. He misses that. Push up, skip with the rebound. Kick it over to Steph, who's an elite free throw shooter. That is huge. They're not going to foul. Interesting. Tatum coming over some screens. He's going to take another three. This time, he misses it again. Come on, Tatum. Probably left a little bit of time on the clock as well. But I think it's looking good for us. Jacoby Walter takes a contested three. He knocks that down. Devin Carter with 18, 9, and 5. He's him, man. He's him. Can we run out the clock? First free throw for Carter. Actually, he's not a great free throw shooter, if I remember. He was like a 70% guy uh, or a high 70s. So I should have gave it to Curry. He goes one for two. But adding Bam, I guess, worked out, man. Patrick Williams, 16, 7, and 1. What an underrated pickup he was as well. Uh, just Jabari Smith's going to get a three. Watch him hit that. Yep, of course. I mean, they have two timeouts left or three timeouts left. If Curry doesn't go two for two, they would have a chance to tie theoretically. But I think Curry is going to go two for two. Yep. I still can't believe we lost that round one game seven to the Lakers that one year. 
Jabari Smith again in the corner for three. He misses that. And the Golden State Warriors in year number six win the 2029 NBA Finals. I didn't know if this day would come. I'm glad we got one before Steph retires. I have a feeling he's going to retire at the end of this season. And we got him at least one more ring. And why is Luka celebrating? Oh, let's go, man. After not making it out of round one, we make it out of round one and still end up in the finals and win it all. So Tatum, 28, 8, and 6. He is your finals MVP. And Steph Curry retires 20 years in the NBA. He retires at 41 years old with his fifth ring. Lone Hall of Fame in Duck D, Jersey Retirements, obviously by the Warriors. We're going to add two new expansion teams to the NBA. Uh, Montreal definitely going into the Atlantic, that makes sense. Uh, we're going to throw the Vancouver Huskies in the Northwest, and then we're going to move the Thunder to the Southeast. So we just have our first round pick in the 2029 draft at 32 now. I'm going to try to hire Chauncey Billups to be my assistant head coach because Kenny Atkinson's contract is up. All right, so I'm not going to be able to uh, protect Elliot Cadeau, which is fine with me. The number one pick is Jordan Hawkins to the Montreal Islanders. Uh, Judah Mintz at Syracuse goes number two. Then there's Oubre, uh, Christian Brown, a couple of former Kansas Jayhawks. And Elliot Cadeau ended up going at 4.2 to the Montreal Islanders. All right, so the number one pick was Jesse Cotton out of Villanova. It doesn't look great as a pick so far. Rookie signings, Peter Bajnek, we got. He's 18, so we'll send him to the G League. Hopefully, he can develop. Um, we got Hakan is it with one of our second rounders. I'll sign him, but I'm not going to sign Dabor. Uh, team player options, Bryce, welcome back. He's going to have a much larger role with, obviously, Curry gone. Dame Sar, I would like to bring back. Rocco... Definitely in the qualifying offer. We'll see, though. So looking at our team before free agency starts, we have a, obviously a big hole at point guard now that Curry is gone. Uh, Devin Carter like could be a point guard. Same with Pozemski as well. So they could experiment uh, time. like That could be the backcourt next year. We'll have uh, Bryce at the three, maybe. Um, Patrick Williams is a free agent as well. We don't really have any money to go out and sign a big name. So I'm going to re-sign Patrick Williams on a three-year $51 million contract. We're going to sign Rocco Zakarski back on a four-year, $37 million contract. And we're going to sign Dame Sar to a five-year, $103 million deal. I think we could develop him to being a very good player for us. So, player progression. Tatum doesn't regress, which is nice to see. Bam's an 89. He doesn't regress either. There's Devin Carter, but I think he's done progressing. There's Dame Sar at an 84. All right, so I definitely want to run out of 10-man rotation. I want to see what Nelson Pickett can do. Uh, Trey Jackson Davis can get like 15 minutes. Eh, he'll get 10 minutes. We'll do like 12 to Pickett. We'll do... 16 is Zakarski. We'll see what Bryce James can do. He'll get 23 minutes a night. I think he's got at least one more year before he'll be a restricted free agent. We'll do 25 to Bojemski. We'll do 28 to Pat Will. 31 to Bam. 35 to Tatum. And then I would like to go probably 33 to Carter. As I apologize for literally just blocking all the single minutes tab there. So I'm going to send our first round pick, Bajanak, to the uh, Santa Cruz Warriors, which has been a great pipeline for players here. Like Bryce James has been there. Rocco Zakarski has been there. Devin Carter has been there. Nelson Pickett has spent some time there. We're four and a half stars. First game without Curry's on the road in Montreal, which is pretty cool. It's a far flight. And we ended up losing by two. Oh boy. Oh, I love that. 2K. They have Trey Young now. So let's fix this. I hate this glitch for uh, the expansion team. So why does it have to be 48 minutes a piece? I don't know if it's the coaching thing. I don't know. I'm going to fire the coaches and just bring in new guys and hope that changes it. All right, let's see. Does this change it at all? It does. Okay, cool. So you just have to fire the coach. So that looks a lot better. And for the Huskies, they have De'Aaron Fox now. That also looks a lot better. But to look at us, uh, we ended up losing this game. I wonder if it was just weird going up against the same players for 48 minutes. But then we lose to the Nets too. Well, that's not a good start. All right, so we got off to a rough start in the post Steph Curry era, but we are 34 and 19 at the trade deadline. We are the three seed in the Western Conference. Devin Carter is averaging just as many points as Jason Tatum, and he's definitely going to be, I think, like right behind him. I mean, they're only four years apart, though, even though they were drafted seven years apart. Bam is a free agent at the end of the year. Depending on how much he wants, I don't know if he'll be uh, back. He is 32 years old. Uh, there's Bryce James, who has been continuing to develop. Patrick Williams has been good this year, shooting 44% from three. There's Pods, who's kind of gone down a little bit, but the efficiency has gone up, which is nice. There's Zakarski, uh, who's under that new extension. There's Nelson Pickett. So obviously a lot of new faces here, but I, I think we're going to be okay going forward. I still think we have to figure out what we're going to do in this post-Curry era. I don't want Pods to leave, so I'm going to re-sign him on a three-year extension. So he's under control for the next four years. Oh, Bam does have a player option, so he may be back regardless. And Wemby has won another MVP award. JD Strong is your rookie of the year. He was the 22nd pick. Alex Saar, clutch player of the year. The dude is a beast. So you got Floyd Badunga on the uh, Montreal 
Islanders getting um, on all NBA second team. I was wondering, wait, did he play 40 minutes? But no, he played 37, so that was fixed. And the first year with no Steph Curry, we are the four seed. We're going to be taking on the five seeded Kings who have Kyle Filipowski and Zion Williamson, the Duke front court. We ended up winning 51 games. We were pretty good at home. We were inconsistent at times on the road. We were the third best offensive team. Defensively, we were number six. Points per game goes to Tatum, then Devin Carter, Damian Saar, uh, Dame Saar, excuse me, Bam, Bryce, Patrick Williams, and Bozemski. All right, so Nelson Pickett's not going to get minutes in the playoffs. Let's see if we can go back to back. We end up blowing out the Kings in game number one. Love that. Who's going to be our playoff breakout guy? Is it going to be Dame Sar? It could be. We lose by four in game two. Last year, it was definitely Devin Carter. Game three goes to Golden State. Devin Carter with 26 and 10. Bam with a double-double. Tatum at 27. Game number four goes to the Warriors by six points. Tatum with 39. Devin Carter, 27, 8, and 8. Bam with 28 and 9 or 29 and 8. And then we ended up winning in five. I said that really quickly, but I meant nine rebounds, eight assists for Bam, not 29 points. But yeah, we ended up winning in 12, or excuse me, by 12 in game number five. Tatum with 37, Bam with 22, Devin Carter with 20. And we're going to be taking on the one seeded Rockets here in round number two. They definitely be the favorites to beat us, which is fine because I think this was like a retool year post Curry, but I think we could beat them. You could say they were better than us last year and we beat them. Damn, Dame Sar was phenomenal. Game number two goes to Houston. Damn, I tried playing Sar a little bit more minutes. 41, he got there. Oh, we played in overtime. Damn, Devin Carter was great. Game number three goes to Houston. All right, maybe we never had a chance. Getting swept kind of sucks. All right, at least we're not going to get swept. It's probably going to be a gentleman's sweep. Or we can go full circle from year one and they could blow it through to one lead. Now we ended up losing in five. They beat us by 18. We could not score to save our lives in the first half. I'm in Thompson is your Western Conference Finals MVP. Luka Doncic, your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And the Rockets win in six with Amen being your Finals MVP. So we did lose to the team. That won it all. wonder if anybody's going to make the Hall of Fame. It doesn't look like it. I saw Warriors legend Grayson Allen retire. Chris Middleton gets his jersey retired by the Bucks. Draft lottery time. We don't have any random lottery picks. No, we do not. Obviously, there's 16 teams in the lottery now. We're going to be selecting at 26. Shout out to the Grizzlies picking one and two in the 2030 draft. So we took Kelgen Riley, a point guard out of Minnesota with 26, and we got Ryan Thompson in the second round. The number one overall pick looks pretty good. Simon Fields out of, uh, where'd he go again? Kansas. Yeah, 80 years old, 90, 80 years old, 80 overall, 19 years old. It looks like a foundation building block for the Grizzlies. Bam, opts out. I guess it was $0. He didn't want to play for free next year. Uh, Bryce James, let's extend the qualifying offer. I don't know why I thought I had one more year with him, but uh, I was wrong there. So I'm not giving him $33 million. Hopefully we get him back for a lot cheaper than that. I'm going to bring back Trey Shacks and Davis on a one-year deal. I did offer Bam a two-year $63 million, I guess, an extension to come back, and he's going to agree with us there. We just really didn't have a better option out there. Damn, Bryce's price tag really didn't go down. I hope he's good. I'm going to give him four years, $96 million. So Tatum starting to regress. I mean, he is 32 years old now. Uh, Pod starting to regress as well. Interesting. All right, so let's see what this is going to perform next year. We're going to go Carter and Saar in the backcourt. Bryce will be the starting three. Tatum starting four. Bam, five. We're going to have Pods, Pat Will, Rocco Zakarski, Trey Jackson Davis, and Nelson Pickett off the bench. We could be active at the deadline for sure. I wonder, I don't know. I thought we could have won it all last year. We'll see how much Tatum regresses. We'll see if Bryce can take a step. We'll see if Star or Carter can like take a step to another level that they're currently on. All right, so at the trade deadline, we're 29 and 22. I don't know if this team is going to win a championship this year. The Vancouver Huskies are the one seed in the West. We're the five seed right now. I mean, Devin Carter is our number one guy. Like Tatum might want... I don't know how much money. I, I, he's definitely starting to regress. I mean, he's 32 years old, though. He shouldn't really be regressing that much. I mean, how much does Tatum want to bring him back? Uh, He would want... F well, I'm not giving him that, I think. So I don't think I'm going to make any moves at the deadline. I do think I'm going to move uh, Brandon Pozemski in the offseason. I want to see what a little bit more to Bryce James, but I don't know. He definitely has some value. Um, and I think I can get, obviously, a little bit more flexible and creative in the offseason. So Luka Doncic took his talents to Montreal and won MVP again in this video. We did get Devin Carter on all defensive second team. The dude is a beast, but we're probably asking for him to sometimes be like the number one option on this team. And that is going to be very tough. So we're taking on the Pelicans. It's either we're the three seed or the six seed or the one seed. I think last year that we may have been the four, but like, I feel like every year we're always playing in this three, six matchup. Player stats though. Devin Carter was the number two scorer. Dame Sar was the number one guy. I think Tatum might just like, I might just let him walk in the off season when it comes down to it. The Pelicans team is pretty good and they could beat us and they beat us by 16 in game number one. 
All right, uh, is this gonna be it for us? Game number two, we end up winning by 47. All right, that gave me some confidence that we can come back. Game number three goes to the Pelicans by 36. All right, it's just who's gonna blow out who at this point. Game four, we ended up winning by 11 here. Game five goes to the Pels. I think this has game seven written on it. I think so. I'd be shocked if we lost in six. All right, I was correct. We ended up winning by eight here. Why is Tatum only taking nine shots? Why? I don't get that at all. He's the highest shot tendency by far on this team. And like, I think Devin Carter and Dame are the only other guys like near him. And no, they're not even in the 90s. They're in the 80s right now. So we have a good first quarter. We have a not a great second quarter. Horrible third quarter. Great job, guys. Great job. Really, season's on the line and he decided to score 28 points in the third. I mean, we're only down by four right now. Let's hop in. But we hop in and they're taking free throws. So we're really going to be down by six. Luckily, Daniels did miss that one. That was risky throw it up to Devin Carter. He's going to split the defense and he's going to throw it down. He's got 22 right now. I wonder if Tatum fouled out right now. Because, yeah, it looks like he is out of the game. Uh, so they got Brandon Ingram still on this team. I mean, Bryce has good intangible stats right now. Playing good defense. Go over the screen here on Ingram. There we go. Good defense, good defense. And just terrible defense by Bam. But he got the block. He made up for it. Kick it up to Bryce. I kind of want to take a three. But he's going to get around Ingram. All right, their transition defense is horrible. I can't remember. This might be, I think it's Caden Boozer. Stay in front of him, Pat Will. Good defense, Pat. Mm, I shouldn't have jumped that first time. That was a nice move. Oh, Dame Star's going to get a wide open three. Don't miss this, please. Thank you. He knocks that down. Nice find from Devin Carter. We're all tied up at 124. All right, Pat Will guarding, uh, all right, I think it's Caden Boozer. That could be Cameron for all I know, but either way, we got the miss. Let's go. Let's keep pushing the tempo. Kick it up to Damien Saar. Another three for Saar, please. No, how do you, oh my God, man. Why doesn't 2K want to, he's like a lights out from downtown and I can't hit two in a row. It's a good look. They're just trying to get Boozer involved. Ah, uh, Bryce is guarding him. That's not great. That's not great. Bam was there, but I didn't want to... He hits it. Mmm, that sucks. All right, so now we definitely need to stop here because if they score, it's pretty much over. Patrick Williams, good defense, and they call a foul. Mm, I don't want to challenge it, actually. Wait, no, I have a ton of timeouts. Unfortunately, though, it's not going to go our way. All right, I need him to miss one. First one is no good. Let's go. We have a chance. I don't even want to tell you what I just did. I accidentally, oh man, I had a play working and I accidentally pressed the wrong button thinking that Bryce James was my shooting guard and vice versa with Dame Sar. I just don't want to talk about it. I may have just blown us game seven. Well, I actually did blow us game seven. I don't think we're coming back here. It is crazy how many playoff exits we've had. Like, cause we've made the playoffs every single year of this video so far. And like, this is year number eight. So I got two more years after this. I want to win both of them. I would be upset if I don't get three rings in this video. So you have the Mavericks and the Bucks. The Bucks have already won a couple here, but the Mavericks, <laughs> Koa Pete, who was drafted by the Clippers, gets revenge on a team. I'm pretty sure that the Bucks beat them back in like year number one. Yep. So that is pretty cool. Kyrie Irving, Kawhi, they retire right now. I feel like we haven't seen that many big names retire, but I could be completely wrong. Kawhi and Kyrie head to the Hall of Fame. Both of them get their jerseys retired. Would Cleveland retire Kyrie's jersey? I know he had such a big shot for them. Maybe. So Ime Odoka's contract is up. We're going to bring back Steve Kerr. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm going to bring back Ime Odoka. I mean, we won a title with him. What are the odds I could pull off this blockbuster trade? Never mind. All right. I want to see if I could pull off a major trade. Patrick Williams and Brandon Pojemski and two first round picks for Isaiah Collier from the Atlanta Hawks. They agree to that. All right, let's go. So we just landed a new point guard. Him and Carter are going to be the backcourt. Sar could either be the three or come off the bench. And like we kept Bryce James and all that. I even kept my first rounder here and we took Tyron Richardson. Uh, Pickett's coming back. Bajnak's coming back. Brian Thompson, I will not be bringing back. I'm now debating like the whole Jason Tatum thing because I got two years left and just letting him walk kind of sucks. So I'm going to sign him for two years, 102 million till the rest of this video. It's our last stance with him. Trace Jackson Davis is an OG. I just traded away an OG in Brandon Pajemski. Is he the only... Wait, am I... Yeah, Pozemski, or excuse me, Jackson Davis is the only OG warrior. It was supposed to be Kuminga, but we knew how that went. Hopefully the addition of Collier can put this team over the top and having like a true point guard again. All right, so it's going to be Collier and Carter in the backcourt. Bryce James, I think he's going to come off the bench. Sar is going to be the starting small forward. Tatum and Bam in the front court, And then we're going to have James, Zakarski, Pickett, uh, and Trace Jackson Davis off the bench. I know I never really played Bajanak, but I don't know, man. He hasn't really developed at least intangibly wise or tangible wise. So I, I don't know. Uh, he's still TBD. Let's see if this team's going to be any better this year in year number nine. Quickly get assigned Devin Carter to a four-year extension. Bam will be a free agent at the end of the year. We're 28 and 18 right now. And Luka goes back to back on MVPs in Montreal, averaging a 30-point triple-double as a 33-year-old. Tatum, you have no excuse. But we 
did end the season as the one seed. I will take that. And the Montreal Islanders did not make the playoffs. So you know what, Tatum? You don't have to do that as long as we're going to be the one seed. Isaiah Collier averaged 10 assists for us. Beautiful season from him. Uh, Devin Carter, about 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5.5 assists. Dame Sard, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. There's Tatum at 34 years old, averaging 18.5 points efficiently. It's a good team still. It's a really good team. And we're taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves, a team that knocked us out in round one in year number two here. Let's beat them in advance to round two, right? Come on. Actually, we are Owen. I think we're Owen two as a one seed. I don't know. There might have been one other year, but this time we finally win against Minnesota. We beat them in five. Shout out to Jason Tatum. He heard me. Going up against the OKC Thunder here. They still have Shea and Chet. I feel like they did a poor job building this team up in this rebuild. Uh, don't lose this, please. There we go. We end up winning in six games, and we're in the conference finals where Dame Sar averaged 23 and a half points and Tatum averaged 21 and a half points. So we're going up against San Antonio. Uh, they've beaten us in the playoffs. We have beaten them. They obviously don't have Draymond Green anymore. They have a good team. You got Brooklyn and Toronto on the other side. We win game one by 19 points. Game number two goes to the San Antonio Spurs by 12. Game number three goes to Golden State. We end up winning by 12 points. Sar and Collier combined for 52. Game number four goes to Golden State. That's what I'm talking about. We end up winning by 19. Isaiah Collier, what a game, man. Don't blow a three to one lead. Thank you. We win in six. And Isaiah Collier, who we picked up in the offseason, Western Conference Finals MVP. Darius Sikoff Jr. is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. They also have Ron Holland, Jacoby Walter, Asim Noel, um, Jabari Smith, Herb Jones, Trey Jones, Bobby Clintman there. Raptors Warriors, a rematch of 2019. And here we are in, I believe, 2031, 2032. We are tied one game apiece. We go up two to one. We are up three to one. All right. Let's not get cocky here. Let's not get cocky, but. Could we get our second ring in this video? That would be really cool. Shout out to Jason Tatum shooting 37% from the field here in the finals. We love to see that. And we win in five. Let's go. That is ring number two. And we picked up an eventual finals MVP last offseason in Isaiah Collier. Could he have saved a rebuild? Possibly. AD retires here. And yeah, we won the 2032 championship. We didn't have a first round pick um, from the Collier trade. The number one overall pick was to the Pelicans, Keith Burke. I mean, that's a team that beat us last year. Uh, we'll bring back these guys just for potential trade pieces uh, if we are going to need them. I know uh, Nelson Pickett's a free agent, and I know Bam out of Bio is a free agent. All right, Bam, I need you to come back. It's the last stance on a one-year deal, and he's going to agree to that. Let's go. I'm going to hopefully bring back Pickett, and we should be good to go for year number 10. And Pickett came back on a five-year, $36 million deal. So, like, any big names switch up here. Jokic is going to end his career with the Nuggets. It's cool to see. Rob Dillingham uh, is on the Milwaukee Bucks. Nikola Topic on the Clippers. So, they've switched teams. Cade's been on a couple teams now. And here's player progression with Tatum regressing, Bam regressing. But this team just won it all last year. Let's see if they could do it in year 10. So Luka Doncic wins MVP once again. He's a Montreal legend. And we ended the season for the first time in this 10-year rebuild as the two seed. We're going up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Dame Starr came off the bench this year, but I think he's going to start over Bryce James for the playoffs. All right, so can we beat Phoenix? I feel like we should. It's a good team, though, um, but we are going to beat them in five. I think now the real playoffs for us start in round number two against the San Antonio Spurs. Man, I would love to get my third ring in this video. It would be cool. So Tatum, Collier, and Carter all dropped 20 points per game in that series. So going up against the Spurs game one, we ended up winning. Wemby did win Depoy this year. How old is he now? He's 29. Game number two goes to the San Antonio Spurs by seven. Devin Carter with 29. Dame Star with 20. Game three goes to the Warriors by 25. Dame Star with 38. Bryce with 32. All right. Game four, we're up three to one. There we go, man. A lot of fist bumping for me in this series because we should be winning. And yes, we do. We win in five. Shout out to Dame Star in this series, man. The dude is me. Shout out to Devin Carter. So we're taking it on the Kings with Cade and Jalen Green, the number one and number two picks from the 2021 draft. And they have Cooper Flagg. And they still have Filipowski. This team did also draft, uh, or they didn't draft, but they've had Zion Williamson at some point. It's a good team, though. Game one goes to us. Game two to Sacramento. Three to Golden State. Four to Sacramento. Five to Golden State. And we win in six. And for back-to-back -back seasons, Isaiah Collier is your conference finals MVP. We're going up against another guy from the 24 draft class, Alexander Sarr, who's had an incredible career with the Washington Wizards. So I doubt Andrew Wiggins is still there in Washington. They do have Elliot Cadeau, who at one point was a warrior. They have Denny Avdia. Oh, they have Mobley and Saar in that front court. They have Reed Shepard off the bench. 
It's a good team. Game one. Oh, no, no, no. My God, I didn't want to simulate the round, but it worked out. We're up three games to zero. I'll take that. Are we going to sweep them? Yes, we do. Okay, so we beat the Spurs in five, the Suns in five, the Kings in six, and then we swept the Warriors. And Isaiah Collier dominates and gets his second finals MVP award. So I hope you guys did enjoy this 10-year rebuild. This was fun. I mean, we lost way too many round one matchups in the first, like, five seasons. And then in year six, we finally got a ring with, Jay or with Jason Tatum and then Steph Curry before he retired. Goes off into the sunset on a high note. And it's still funny that the magic stole Jonathan Kaminga from me. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy though. Drop a thumbs up if you did and you enjoy these 10-year rebuilds. Let me know in the comments which team we should do next. Also, all my links you can follow me are in the description as well. Podcast, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Links are in the description. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.